So, once again, the ignorance of RVing, travel trailers, motorhomes, fifth wheels, all this stuff. Um, just spoke to three different people, spoke to several people beyond just now. And uh, it's unbelievable the way people are. Um, so all travel trailers, all fifth wheels, all of them come out of the factory with, they don't balance the tires on them. The wheels and, you know, the, the wheels, I should say, are not balanced. So balancing, what it does is actually balance the wheel. It keeps it from vibrating. So they, oh, it's on, it's on a travel trailer. You don't have to worry about it. You know, it doesn't matter. It's just a trailer. It doesn't matter. So here, I tell you what. All those people that say it doesn't matter, I want you to go out to your car and take off all the, the, the weights, the wheel weights. Take all your wheel weights off and then jump out there on the road. Go get on the freeway. See how it works out for you. And I know a lot of you are probably saying, well, I have no big deal. Yeah, that's a challenge. Go do it. So, And then don't call me suing me because you destroyed your car, you wrecked it, you flipped it on the highway. Because it's going to shake the teeth out of your head. It is going to shake that car apart. So what's the difference between a car's wheels and tires being balanced compared to a travel trailer or fifth wheel? Well, there's no difference. You can't feel it. Uh, it's a travel trailer. No crap. They should be balanced. Because it's sitting on a travel trailer, fifth wheel, it's going to shake just like it does on an automobile, a pickup truck, a van, whatever, your car. You cannot go out to your car, remove all the wheel weights off all your wheels, and drive the car everybody's going to have a different result from that. Most of today's cars, a lot of the aluminum wheels are much more balanced than a, a steel wheel, especially on travel trailers and fifth wheels. The, the, the steel wheels that come on these things are stamped out and they're junk. Okay. They're, they, it costs them two bucks to make these stupid things. So they're the cheapest wheels you can get they do have some that are a little bit better than others they start and they do go up into some wheels that are aluminum which are, are nice but they still need to be balanced by not balancing the wheels on a travel trailer or fifth wheel or a trailer period it will it's going to cause vibrations it's going to cause wheel bearings to go out it's going to cause the hubs to go out it's going to tear that stuff up. Not to mention, all four of them are back there vibrating like crazy, wobbling, because they're not balanced. It doesn't take much from one wheel to, to be unbalanced, to shake. And all that, you have four tires that are unbalanced, shaking the crap out of your travel trailer or fifth wheel. These guys I just got off the phone, well, that's no big deal. It's not, it, you're not going to notice a difference. You will notice a difference. It is going to pull a little bit better. It's going to pull differently. Might not sway as much because when you start getting a wobbly wheel out back there and all four of them, not to mention the fact that you're not going to have to replace bearings constantly or wheel hubs because it's going to eat them. It's going to destroy your wheel bearings, your wheel hubs. It's going to destroy the axle. It, it, I mean, I'm telling you, go out to your car, and like I said, take, it will tear that car up. You'll have, oh my gosh. As a mechanic working in dealerships, I've seen cars come in that have lost just the car. I've seen a van, okay, a Dodge van. The rear tires were not balanced. They drove 800 miles on those on the, with this van with two wheels on the back that were not balanced. It destroyed the rear end in the car in the van. The uh, had to put a new drive shaft in it, and it took out the transmission. So this van ended up getting a brand new transmission, uh, brand new rear end, 
and a new drive shaft. Destroyed it. That was just two tires. I've seen it happen, and then everybody wants to argue about this. The dealerships, or not the dealerships, but the factory, they don't give a crap. They could give a crap what happens to these things once they leave. All they care about is your money. They don't care about your safety. They don't care how it pulls. They don't care nothing about it. All they care about is your money. That's all they care about. They don't make these things. They don't build them to withstand anything. So as you know, a note, if you buy a travel trailer fifth wheel or a trailer of any kind, I highly recommend going out to your local tire dealer, arguing with those idiots for a while, and have your tires balanced. So like I said, the, the people out there that are going to you know say, oh, you're wrong, go out to your car, remove all the wheel weights, and take it for a drive. Just keep driving it, see what happens, see how long you can go, if you can go very long. I've seen cars, I've done many tests on this, and I'm telling you, I've seen cars that wheels break off because it shook so bad at 35 miles an hour. So just tremendous. It's amazing what wheel balancing will actually do, and when your wheels aren't balanced, how much it can tear up and how much it will affect the, the vehicle. I have another trailer that um, I had, it was pulled like it was horrible pulling so it was, it was swayed a lot it was all over the road and you could see that the, it was just a lot of vibration big time took up the or took the t- tires up had them balanced put them back on the trailer pulled like the smooth as butter man it was so smooth so it made a huge huge difference so i get tired of these people it's like and and most people work in the automotive industry anymore. It doesn't seem, I don't, where do they get their, their learning? It's like, I argue with people all the time on this ignorance and they, they're, they're so, I'm not here to argue with them, but the crap they come up with. It's like, I don't understand it. It's, you're supposed, is there no such thing as an ASC certified mechanic anywhere? They're parts replacers now. So the computer, if the computer don't tell them what's wrong with the car, they, they can't figure it out. So, and God forbid you want to bring them up some work, you know, and they're going to, oh, it's useless to, to balance the tires. Yeah. So why do you do it to any car? Why do you do it? If it's, if it's useless on a travel trailer or a fifth wheel or a trailer of any kind, what, why wouldn't it be? Then it must be useless on anything, right? All vehicles, motorcycles. Uh, anything that you know any vehicle then hey why would why waste your time why would you bother the difference is when you're driving in that vehicle riding that motorcycle driving that van that car you know the SUV whatever it is you feel the vibrations directly you will feel it right now directly not back in the travel trailer cuz you're not riding in it you're just pulling it down the street so you don't feel all the vibration. You don't feel how bad it's shaking. You don't feel none of that. When you stop, though, you see a lot of it. You know, things are falling off the walls. If the wheels are balanced correctly and the suspension was right on the vehicle, on the travel trailer fifth wheel, then it you're going to see a difference. It's going to pull smoother. So, smoother. Anyways... I just wanted to, you know, it's aggravating. I get so sick of all this stupidity and ignorance out there in the world. So I'm here. I'm balancing my tires. I'll have to find, go through a bunch of, I have to go through some idiots first to be able to find somebody that can actually do it because it doesn't seem like they know what to do anymore. Oh, I got to, I don't know how to balance a tire. Uh, what size is it? I don't know. Somebody just told me they didn't know if they could balance a steel wheel 15 inch. What size tire is it? I'm like, it's a 205 60 15. We don't know if we can do it. <laughs> Just go home and, and, and collect off the government, man. If you can't do that and you work in an automotive shop, 
I mean, seriously. It's, that's pathetic. It's, uh, I, I just, I get so aggravated anymore. The, the world we live in and the stupidity of people. You know, looks good for my house. Yeah. The RV industry, I'm Ray Jones and I'm coming after you. I'm going to come after you with everything I have because there's so many things that are coming out of these factories. I'm going to change it. I'm going to make a difference. I promise you. I'm coming after you. So look out. And uh, maybe instead of me doing that, maybe you should start changing your ways. Maybe you should start trying to figure out, watch these trailers come out of your factories. Let them leave. No, don't let them leave. You need to inspect them. Go over them. Make sure they have the right components. Make sure all the wiring is separated so there's no fires like constantly happening. Hello? That's a life safety issue. Lots of people are going to die from that and probably already have died. You know, I hear about fires all the time and it has to do with the electrical box because the wiring is not correctly because you people do not know what you're doing. So if we had a house, house would never pass an inspection with the electrical that's coming out like these. Holy cow. Anyways, I'm aggravated over something so simple. A simple little thing. Not going to take a, a, you know, a factory any longer or cost them any, just a minute amount of money, a couple of cents to balance some tires to make all the world in the difference, a difference in the world. I can't even say it. I'm so aggravated. Anyways, just another griping video, I guess, of mine. So uh, enjoy your day and um, make everybody mad and balance the tires on your travel trailer or fifth wheel or trailer of any kind. Ooh, so yeah, money in their pocket. Let's turn it down because they don't feel like doing it. You know, it's not going to make a difference. It's going to make a difference on mine, I promise. I'm not going to lose wheel bearings. I'm not going to lose hubs. So I can promise you that because that's the problem. Anyways, have a great day.